Hi, I'm Marvin Fant, and this week I'm talking about the uh, Casey Anthony trial. A um, lot of shock and surprise on the verdict, but what I'll say is this, don't blame the jury. The jury did its job. It was a good jury. A good jury in the sense of they took emotion out of the situation, and that's what you want out of a jury. You want them to take emotion out of it and only go by the facts. See, a good jury um, goes by what's presented before them. And in this situation, the prosecution focused on her motive for lying instead of her motive for murder. Therefore, she was guilty of lying if you read the counts. So therefore, like I said, a good jury will take emotion out of, this, out of the equation and render a verdict um, based on what's presented um, before them. Every last juror could have felt that Anthony was lying, but it still has to be uh, proven by the prosecution. And in this case, the prosecution spent a lot of time trying to prove she's a liar instead of a murderer. What I would do is, and, and I think a lot of people feel this way also, is go after Casey Anthony's father. It seems to be a, a lot of um, things are not being said or a lot of things haven't been told. And from day one, he seems to be um, pretty suspect in the case. Myself, I think both of them, her and her father, has something to do with this. And especially going by his, re his reaction and his wife's reaction after the verdict was read, uh, they both you know, left the courtroom, didn't even you know, go, go to their daughter. So there, there's a lot going on, but um, don't blame the jury. Don't blame them at all. They're just, that's a good, good jury. They were just doing their job.